This was a life's dream coming together. We wanted to give honor and basically show what the boys have done back in 1863, 150 years ago, when the uh, Fort Fosno Kainalai took the Culp's Hill. It was Stewart's Brigade, and they basically came in from that area over there, Johnson's Division. Our boys basically retraced the exact footsteps, and when they came through, they came right over to the Daniel Lady Farm, right over the Wolf Farm, Somebody and then went right to up me. to Culp's Hill. Three, two of them are, are, are okay. We lost one, Doc. He had okay. a bad belly wound. There just wasn't nothing I could do for him. All right, what else we got? Take, take care of those boys up there. Make sure they're getting good water. We are the left flank of the entire Confederate Army. And we are basically showing what all those folks that had not only died for their cause, but those that meant what they were fighting for to the deepest part of their hearts. Take it off. Well, we've had people here from seven Take states. Uh, we basically have been working on this for over a year and a half. Right. Um, a lot Let's of coordination on it. and right a lot now. of time, uh, thousands of hours, not hundreds. Um, as you can see, every one of these folks had to coordinate long distance. We put it together and we still have another medical corps coming in on Sunday. They're actually over on the fight on the other Back side today. Yeah. So to what we're trying to do is represent not only what they did in the uh, field hospital here at the farm, but to be able to give them uh, the honor that they deserve and showcasing a little bit about what happened with all the wounded. Inside this barn, they not only treated enlisted men, but officers. Can this man have anything? Charlotte, right here. Charlotte, stay with him. Talk to him. Say a prayer over him. Well, it was very limited, as you know. Uh, they did not know about Surgeon. bacteria, viruses, or pathogens. Bring me we basically some uh, over we took our time uh, as best we could, except we went very long hours like they do today. But triage was actually born in the 1860s. And right over on the other hill, we had Camp Letterman for the Union, where Jonathan Letterman headed up that triage, which we're still doing today.